I turned this 200 to 30,000 in two months. Had a couple million bank in two years after. Very humble to announce Patrick and Tony has been working with him for his new app, First Land of Poker. It is amazing. And today he's gonna to give us some advice. While we're in Vegas at the Aria Casino, thank you so much, Patrick, for taking the time. How did you become a pro poker player? What kind of led you on that journey? It's it's not like I didn't I kind of didn't choose poker. <laughs> like poker it kind chose of, it, yeah, chose it kind of happened. <laughs> it kind of happened. I was trying to play tennis on high level, practice a lot twice a day, all this, and, and I was lucky that my tennis buddies were into poker and we would play between the practices and after. Yeah. And when we didn't have some league matches or tournaments in the weekend, we got together to play all day <laughs> poker. Yeah. And I was lucky to live close to the only casino in Finland that offered poker. So then I went to play my first tournament. And I won it. And like <laughs> I, I had no idea how to play, really. Like I love this game. <laughs> you know, so it was a lot of luck that got me more motivated. You Things. saw that you had an edge in the game. Yeah, I I realized it after a while, but not not when I was in the beginning. I didn't have like goals that I'm gonna yeah make money with playing poker or become a pro professional. Yeah. So, but then I started to make money really fast. A lot, like, and the biggest change that happened when I bought end of 1999. Very important. That's when I was born. That's when I was born. <laughs> I put $200 online. There you can play more hands, and I could play some short handed games, cash mm -hmm. games, and I turned this 200 to like 30,000 in two months. And this is when I realized I never looked back since then. Uh, I had a couple million bankroll and then after like two years after like I went really fast then. Uh, 200 to 2 million. And uh, it's an easy game. Yeah, <laughs> How did you control going up in stakes? Yeah that's a that's a good question. I actually you know I played so much. I played when I, when I started to play I just I was averaging probably like 12 hours a day. Wow. And, and live poker and online combined. I would go live to play some tournaments in the casino and even some cash. And then I would home, at home play online in the daytime or morning or, yeah, all day, or so after. All day. Yeah. And do some sports and that's how it went. But yeah, I never skipped like a limit. When I started to play like $1, $2, yeah. public yeah. minimum, this is how I made my first good results. And like $2, $4. $4. I always went like just one one step okay. upper with the limits. Yeah. I never risked my bankroll in this way. Also, when I added new games like Limit Hold'em, um, Omaha Era Better, or No Limit Hold'em was on my cash game, then I would play DLO in the beginning. With those I new always, games, would you start at the bottom again? Some of them I started too high, but uh, whatever I started to play, I, you know, if I wanted to go higher, I went one level. One level. Always like... Uh, one level at a time. But I kept taking, I had this kind of strategy that I was very lucky actually that I could play like the best players currently in pretty low stakes because online in online poker they didn't offer these monster big games mm -hmm. then and I could go and play the best player in the world of online and okay still like you know you can lose a couple of thousand but it's still like a cheap lesson yeah. to see how they beat you. I always had this challenge and competitiveness yeah, in me. I feel that too. And, uh, I feel that. And it's, it worked out pretty pretty well also. I would say pretty the, well. The, I, I think it worked is important well. Because if you limit yourself, like I was, you know, I was always really like, I'm gonna figure it out how, how I'm gonna <laughs> beat this. this yeah, player. I'm gonna and, win, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, what advice would you give people like us, new poker players, 21 years old, getting into it? Well, I had such a different path. I had such a passion for playing card games and I played with my friends home games before yeah. going to the casino and those days we didn't have any of these e-learning tools, nothing, you know. All the poker books were literally giving you wrong information compared to nowadays what we know yeah. about the game, the strategy of the game. Mm. So you would just play and play and trying to figure it out then. 
by yourself, figured out on your own. We would have games, nobody would know how to play, <laughs> really. We just all think that we know and what, yeah. we're trying different things. And, I get that. And, and so on. Nowadays, it's like Game Theory Optimal is a new thing that it's mm -hmm. basically gives you a good guideline against opti players who play Optimal using this strategy. So it, it kind of protects you that people cannot take advantage of you that much. And like anything that, you know, hard work will get you there. Yeah. I would say it overcomes like talent. Always be honest with yourself and be re having realistic expectations. Don't expect that you start playing now and soon you're gonna go and play some big games and beat some good players and yeah. who have played 10 years. And, yeah, and start slow, and so, start slow. Yeah. Start slow and uh, it's always important and good that you have some poker friends. If you're playing like being by yourself, you have a lot of questions, a lot of thoughts, you want to analyze. Okay, it's good to analyze hands by yourself, but also good to get out of yeah. others' uh, opinion, opinions. This Toss their hands. Yeah, this is how you improve in an <laughs> even more nicer, comfortable way and so on. So, I mean, we have such a big community now of poker, yeah. poker players, groups. In our app too, you can post and share and ask questions. And we're literally talking with Patrick Antonius, so that's the proof of that. Big thank you to Patrick. Huge thank you for the advice. Hopefully this is a connection we can have. Let us know if you have any more questions for him. Patrick, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it so thank much. You. Thank, thank you very much, much. Patrick. I wish all the best. Of course, yeah. So it gives you all the hands, what you should play. So people can go on here and learn how to act based on every situation in front of them.